Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to finals match three. Winner of this match will be our champions. You know their stories. Let's make it short and sweet. First up, we have 5406. Celtics. In the middle is 1126. Sparks. And rounding out this alliance is 1559. Over on blue, we have Team 30, 15. Ranger Robotics. In the middle, we have Team 10, 23. Bedford Express. And rounding out this blue alliance is Team 40, 50. Biohazard. Ladies and gentlemen, our field is green. Count this one down with me. This one's for all the marbles. Drivers behind the line. Three, two, one, go! And all the coffers of the tournament lie on this final match as 1559 and 1126 cross the outer works of the Blue Alliance's defenses and 5406 charging across as well. The defenses have been crossed by the Blue Alliance as well in the, in the Red Alliance's courtyard. Biohazard seems to be stuck at the base of the Red Alliance's tower, but they're able to back themselves off. And sallying forth through the sally port is 5406 in the neutral zone. And over the ramparts they go. 5406 in the courtyard of the Blue Alliance. 1559 played some damaging defense in match number two, and they are there back again. And a boulder rolling forward from 10-23. Able to score against the Red Alliance Tower. Right now, the Blue Alliance is down two defenses, while the Red Alliance is only down one defense. Blue Alliance now down three defenses as 5406 travels underneath the low bar. 4050 returns in kind over the Cheval de Freeze. 1559 against 1023 in the corner. 1126 picks up a boulder as 4050 deals the second blow to the Cheval de Freeze. 1559 throws a blow against 4050 as 1023 tries to deliver that boulder. Another boulder from the Red Alliance into the Blue Alliance Tower. Three defenses down for the Red Alliance. Three defenses down for the Blue Alliance. And the Blue Alliance's outer works have been breached. Crossing the moat is 4050 of the Blue Alliance, and they're back to do it again. Back into the neutral zone. 1559 laying down some D on 1023 again. 4050 trying to cross the moat one more time. If they can, if they can cross this moat, they will breach the Red Alliance's outer works. 3015 trying to play some defense, running into 5406. The Blue Alliance's outer works have been breached. The Red Alliance has one defense left before their outer works are breached. And we are running down to less than 20 seconds to go. 40-50 over the moat. The Red Alliance's outer works have been breached. The Blue Alliance's tower has been weakened. And all three robots move in for a challenge. With four seconds left, the Blue Alliance is trying to move in the challenge. Two, one, and that's the game.
With one win apiece going into this third match, it's a winner take all. So was the Red Alliance able to pull the upset and string two wins together, or did the Blue Alliance pull it out? Let's see the scores. Red Alliance 143, Blue Alliance 84. Congratulations to the number one ranked Red Alliance.